Now let's work on the ending E. I hope the last lesson wasn't difficult and I'm promising to you uh, once you use these rules for a few times, you will start to use them uh, intuitively. You would need to think about what kind of ending is there and what kind of uh, ending I should put instead of this to create a plural. However, for now, we just need to structureize this knowledge. And I want to repeat with you also the general spelling rule. Do you remember after letters? G, K, H, Ż, Č, Š, and Š. We are allowed only to place E. Well, only place E. If there is a question between E and E. So this is the question which usually would come in this case, if I should place E or E. And uh, in this case, you are placing E. And we are playing this general rule for the endings to create plural. Basically, if we get a hard consonant ending of the word, if the hard consonant is one of those letters, then the ending for plural is E. If it's not, E. Let's work with our examples. Singular plural and ending. And the first example was kniga. Kniga. Do you remember? Kniga is book. Here we need to look at last two uh, letters. And one of those letters is g, meaning we need to place after g e. Basically we replace a with e. Knigi. Books. So we get ending g, a, we recognize that g is one of the hard consonants from our spelling rule. So ending g, a becomes g, e. Next one, uchebnik. U, che, b, nik. Uchebnik is textbook. And uh, how would we create a plural out of chebnik? K is one of the hard consonants and it's in the end of the of the word. So the plural will become uchebniki. U che b ni ki. We simply end with e. So the ending plus e. Next on ruchka. A pen. Ru Ch, ka. Again, we got ending ka an. We recognize that ka is one of the hard consonants from the spelling rule. So after a, after ka, we need to place e. Ki. So what would be uh, the plural of ruchka? Ruchki. Ruch, k, and we're replacing a with e. Ruchki. Next one, spichka. Spi, ch, ka. Spichka is a uh, match. So we cannot uh, even make a, uh, so matches. And one of the matches is uh, spichka. And the plural of spichka, again, the same rule. We got ending ka. So we replace a with e, spichki. Spichki, spichki. Now stich. Stich was a poem. Stich. And then ha. So we need to place e to create plural poems. Stichi. Sti. He. Plus e. And well, the general scheme, the endings will follow the this uh, this particular rules and. Um, Let's work on some more examples so we will get used to uh, adding e in the end of the word. Sluch, a new word. You have never heard this. Sluch is rumors. Sluch. So sluch is a singular rumor and the plural would be sluhi. Slu he. We recognized the word ends in ha. And we add e sluhi. Next one, lija. Li, 
Ja. Lyja is, if you take skis, so one of the skis is lyja. And the plural, the skis, would be lyji. Lyji. We recognized ž a as ending. Ž a. We learned that the ž is one of the hard consonants from the spelling rule. So we need to replace a with e. Lyži. Nož. Nož is knife. And the plural of nož will be naži. No. Ži. Nož, naži. Knives. Vrač is doctor. Vrač. Try to build a plural of vrač. How would you say doctors in uh, Russian? Vrači. Because ch is hard consonant from, from the spelling rule. Vra Chi. And let's take one word with sh. Tavarish. Comrade or friend. To va rish. Tavarish. Again, sh is one of the hard consonants uh, after which we, we have to place e. So the plural of tavarish would be tavarishi. To va ri shi. Tavarishi. And we still got place for three more examples. Let's take a karandash. Karandash is pencil. Ka ran da sh. Try to build plural. Karandashi. Ka ran da shi. Etage is floor. Etage. And the plural etaji. Eta ji. And plush. Plush is raincoat. Pla sh. Plural of plush is plashi. Pla shi. So let's repeat these words because those are important words. And we will also try to recognize the, the gender of the nouns just for us to, uh, to learn a little bit more. Kniga, we already learned how to recognize uh, the gender of kniga. It ends in a, so it's feminine, kniga. Plural, knigi. Uchebnik, ends in hard consonant, it's masculine. Actually here, most of the words are ending in hard consonant, so most of these words are masculine. Some of the words ending in a, meaning those words are feminine. And there are no neutral words. Basically, the ending E is coming for neutral, uh, for masculine or feminine uh, words. So if you get a neutral word, you know it's not E or E. So let's go. Ruchka is pen. Ruchki, pens. Spichka and spichki. Spichki are matches. And one of the matches is spichka. Stich, a poem. Stihi, poems. We got ha in the end, so we need to end it with e. Sluch is rumor. Sluhi, rumors. Lyja ends in z a, and one of the one of the letters is hard consonant from from our hard consonants ending with e. So we need to put lyji, replace a with e. Skis, nož is knife. Naži, knives. Vrach, doctor, vrachi, doctors. Tavarish, do you remember tavarish? Is comrade or a friend, tavarishi. Friends, karandash, pencil, karandashi, pencils. Etage, floor, etaji, plush, raincoat, plushi, raincoats.